Welcome to Muzak's New World Empire channel and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Vera Sachs and with me in the studio today is Mo Sachs. Alright, in this class we are going to be showing you Codal Improvisation. And if you are still watching this video right now, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Stay tuned and keep learning. Okay guys, so we're going to be showing you today what I call some Codal Leaks. <laughs> Those are connections of leaks, you know, landing notes, all put together, helping me to connect to chords, helping me to connect to chorale and the melody. There are two ways to teach improvisation. You teach the student to improvise following the melody, or you teach a student to improvise following the chord progression. So I think in this channel we've been doing more of following the melody, where if I want to say, email I go. I just improvise email give me my key now. That is a combination of Leaks, landing notes, passing notes, arpeggios. That's just what I just did now. But you see, I'm not too far from the melody. So I'm using the melody to guide me. It doesn't even matter whether the keyboard is playing or not. The melody is a perfect guide. <laughs> That's a leak coming in. See that we're just using leaks, 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 passing notes. But in this class, I want to show you what to do when you don't even know the song. Mm. There are situations where you don't even know the song. You don't even know they are just in a band. You can't learn all the songs as a gophonist. And you can't say you will not play because, mm, because, you, don't know because you don't know the song. So since I have the keyboardist, I have the other instrumentalists, they are going to be playing the chord. Maybe they have to score it and they know the chord. So when they play a song, I already know the song from the chords. So I don't even need to know what they are saying, what the singers are saying to be able to improvise. So improvisation gets beyond the melody of the song. So whether or not I know the melody, I can go ahead to improvise. So using what I'm about to teach you, what are the tools you use in following a chord? It's in our library. Go ahead and get that library. You can just pay for the intermediate. It's actually the intermediate library. So if you can't buy everything, just buy the intermediate, where you have most of, all, most of the improvisation course, they are in the intermediate. They are in the intermediate library. So I'm going to give you some chord leaks, leaks that you can play when, a, when an instrumentalist plays a chord. When you play a chord, what should I play? That's why Vasa said we are teaching you chordal improvisation. Now give me a do. When this guy is going to play a do, just hold a do. Okay. What are the chords? What are the leaks I can play? Number one, 
For the, those of those just coming up, just play. Come on, play after me. That's number one. If you tap, we have done a lot of leaks that you can use. Most of the leaks we've been doing, they are all on, uh, they fall on the do chord. That's as you are doing it better than me. That's as is playing B-pop instead of playing pentatonic. Okay. Excellent. So that's a lot of leaks, a lot of leaks. Look at them here. They are in this library. If you've not gotten the library, I even wrote it down in Solfas. The mm. Solfas edition is there. So if you've not gotten this, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to help you. Anything that brings you to land on do is good to work with this guy whenever he's on do. So, you know, you know. Pentatonic, major scale, all of this start coming in. You just have to just keep landing on those. Now go to Fa. He's giving me the Fa chord now. Number one. When you see a chord that is on Fa, you can play your landing notes, general landing notes. Your landing note for Fa is. So if you've not, if if you get the basic, uh, if you get this live, you're going to get where we taught on landing notes, or even the advanced landing note. These are things that connect me to the fact. Go back to do now. Go to far now. Go to do again. Chord, I'm now using the passing note to connect to the landing note. So I go. Excellent. So another thing. So that's so now. Go to so now. Let's have a saw. Now the simplest landing notes that we taught you is play now. So T dollar so so. Now, another thing you can play now, let's have a, a passing note to that landing. So go. Let's go. Let's go. Go back to do. See the way I'm 
following him based on the course. So the guy is giving me one, four, five. So we're going to limit it to just one, four, five. We're not doing la, the sixth, and the seventh now. So let's go again. So since we know what to play, together with the passing note, let's run it now. Go one. Give us a, a counting now. Now, I have added something. Now, when I go, I went octave for the saw. I still have an octave down. So I went into two octaves. So I went. So you understand now? Let's go now. Band, you won't be telling them, I don't know the song. You don't need to know the song. Don't be called at the place. So we never even start the singer, not the solo. So you get it now. Let's go again, Versax. <laughs> In a while, I can use that to oh, equate wow. the do, okay. the do chord. Let's go now. What am I doing? I'm using arpeggio to fill up the chord. So let's quickly learn arpeggio. Is here. It's in the everything is here. Nobody should be asking me a question. Fa la fa la do fa do la fa. Fa. Fa do do fa. Fa la do fa. 
fa la do fa la do fa fa do la fa do la fa la fa so now let's go now so once in a while you see me chipping then this saw chord wait for the saw chord you can go Okay, let's start from so. So ti re so ti re so so ti re re ti so re ti so re. Then do do. I don't really like appreciating do. It's too it's too loud. So, but you see. So guys, let's go. So you have all the topics coming in to help you improvise with this uh keyboardies. All right, let's go keyboardies. Exercise to another level. This is a long class, so now he's going to be playing the chord for me. Only me. I'm going to be soloing. After I'm done, Versace will solo her own. Let's go now. Are you ready now? Go. I'm not doing more than just those passing to the landing and then landing note like that, like that, like that. Is that okay? So, over to you. Too easy, yeah. All right. Let's go. One, two, three, go. Let's go.
let's get up of our sacks. Oh boy, no be joke. Okay, now give us another chord now. One, four, one, five. One, four, one, five. <laughs> to connect to the chord and there landing notes is just there but i'm just adding passing adding a lot of passages leaks comes in when i want to land on the door Hello. okay that's us let's go to um if do fa so fa Let's do that chord progression. Where'd you go? Do, fa, so, fa. I go now. Equally following his chord. Sometimes I just say on the fa mi fa mi fa mi fa. If I don't have any idea, I just say on the fa fa fa. I'm waiting for the next chord. So let's play this song. Um, So called. That's a la chord now. This la chord, you can see treat it as a fa. This la chord, you can see treat it as a fa. Because la and fa, they are related to the fa chord, fa la do. So let's go again now. But you should go la. Because that doesn't know the song. So four, one, five, six. So let's go. Let's go. In the darkness. No, no, no. I don't know this song. You don't 
don't even know the song. But the people are singing. People are not singing. You are asked to solo, and you don't know the song. People are, people are going to sing it, yes. But you don't know the song, and it follow you to solo. Your savior at that time is the chord progression. So what will you play at that time? Chord, so that you can play. How do you play a lac chord? What, what will you play when you hear a lac chord? Uh-huh, then before you go to the far, let's go again, Professor. The la I mean. You now went and landed on the fa. By the time he's coming back to the fa again, you are already, you don't already come, you don't already come out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Verasak should start telling herself which chord comes after which chord. So if you hit a do, what's the next thing? After you hit a so, what's the next thing? After you hit a la, what's the next thing? Since it's a saku, you don't need to always start. It's not every time you, the time you will take to listen to what they are doing. Okay. It's just maybe the first two minutes or the first one minute. In fact, before you even solo, you will have, you will have memorized the circle in your head. Two of us. So, the other cannot hit do, and she is going to far. Whether she is hearing it or not. The keyboardist is not going to do anything outside that circle. Two of us. Two of us. So, if it's going to be on a saw, once you hit a saw, what's the next thing you should think about? La. La. Depend on this song, depend on the song. So, by the time you hit a do, after your do, what's the next thing? 
saw. So the moment you you are able to pick a dough, you don't need to pick a saw again. You already know that ah, uh, that is the time to do as if you know where he's going, and you will run a a passing note to that saw cord. Are you getting my point? So you will now begin to, so let's hear it again, Versa. Because there's a time you hit a door that I'm thinking, ah, Versa should know now that, okay, it's going to a saw cord. You don't need to listen to it before you do it. Not, you always be following him behind. did well this time. Okay. So let's go again. This is not an easy training. <laughs> go. Versace is able to follow Diagram. chord now. You get that? So Versace is following the chord. Being able to connect to chord has saved you the lack of confidence of saying you don't know the song. <laughs> I just carry a leak that is going to do. That's one thing where you follow chord because you know where they are going because it's a circle. So let's go again. Go. class today on chordal improvisation being able to follow the chords as we have seen as you have seen us demonstrated now uh, in this library i'm going to send you chord progressions in different backing tracks four one five one five one four one six one two one seven one ten all all the chord progression you can think about on this four over four beat when you have it, you pick a chord. You pick, can you pick a tan track, put on your headphone, play it, and see if you can recognize the chords when you get lost in the music or when you don't even know the song. That's what we've taught you today. If you get the library, you get the, the soundtrack. So if you want to get the soundtrack, it's almost going to be as if you just get the, 
the course so that you can just follow it together. So when you have it, you play it, and then you begin to flow along. The landing note is there. You must know landing notes, you must know passing notes, you must know leaks to be able to meet up to this uh, chordal improvisation. So that's just what it means. So ear training is something you're going to do over time as you practice. So as you practice the exercise, you notice time is going to come. When you hear a sore chord, is it it? Yeah. You will just know it. This has been a very tedious practical class, and I want you to appreciate Vera Sachs for the, her time. All right, Vera Sachs, what do you have to say for these uh, students? Hi, guys. Oh, my God. This class is so tiring. <laughs> hey, guys, this is a practical class. Like, I'm so tired right now. Ah, so much has been done today, guys, and I've learned a lot. Like, I keep learning every day, and um, I'm glad uh, my ear is speaking uh, chord, you know. And I'm glad this class is going to do something to you that you will never forget, because this class is from the library, and you see it has been sneaked out so that just for you to be able to get it. And uh, for those of you that are still doubting whether the library, the Sachs library is, is, is good, my guy, the Sachs library is something else. If you follow it one after the other, you're going to come out a professional saxophonist. I promise you that. All right, guys, I'm tired now, as you can see. <laughs> okay, you two go and practice and practice and practice and get tired. Yes. Eh? All right, if you have not subscribed and you are still watching this video right now, subscribe because this is content. We have content in this channel. We are content. Like, so subscribe, share to people, share to everyone. And of course, we have other instruments uh, that we also teach so you can contact us. We are here for you. All right, one on one class is still available, it's still open for you to register with Mossacks. And of course, you, you, are, you are sure you're going to get what you pay for. All right, let's call it a day and see you in our next video. Bye.